What I'm gonna show you is a clip from Montana, okay? Montana currently is having a major struggle over trans rights. The Republican conservative faction in Montana is attempting to push through dis three disgustingly anti-trans bills, okay? Restrictions on trans participations in sports, restrictions on trans access to healthcare, and forcible outing procedures whereby teachers at public schools are required to out students to their parents, which is terrible, okay? These are just terrible things. These are bad laws, okay? There is one trans uh, uh, re state representative in Montana, Representative Zoe Zephyr, okay? The first openly trans representative that Montana has ever had. And she was silenced by uh, the Republicans. As in, while these, beer these bills were being heard, she was prevented from being able to speak on them. That's right, they actually have prevented the only trans representative to ever serve the state of Montana from speaking on bills that are directly affecting her. And I wanna show you how they responded when explicitly peaceful protesters, nobody was armed, nobody was fighting, showed up on the house floor. I'm gonna show you a clip right now from what their response was. And I want you to understand, this is what the Republican vision of America is. Let's watch. Right here is Zoe Zephyr, and I want you to pay attention to what's going on behind her as she's holding up her mic. The reason that Zoe Zephyr is holding up her mic here is because they disconnected her mic, making it impossible for her to actually speak on the bill, despite the fact that she is a state representative. So these are the protesters. They're just standing there and chanting, let her speak. I'm gonna show you some more pictures of this as well. And here you see, up here, the riot police are pushing into the crowd up on a balcony, mind you. They're literally using riot police to push people up to the edge of a balcony. He's pushing him with a riot shield. Here's more of them. Marching in with batons, by the way. You can see them marching in here in the background. And I'm gonna show you another picture of this. Seven people were arrested. I didn't, he I didn't hear the final count. But I wanna show you another picture of this, just so you can get an idea of how many cops they were filtering in here, okay? Take a look at this, all right? Here you go. You can see over here there's cops filtering in up above and that there's a line of riot police over here. Riot police for a peaceful protest in which no one was injured. Riot police, not just, not even just calling the cops, which would have been bad enough to have a bunch of cops arrest people for practicing their literal First Amendment right. And there's more. There's more. Let me read this to you, okay? This is Re Representative Zoe Zephyr's account. I have been informed that during tomorrow's floor session, there will be a motion to either censure me or expel me from the house. I've also been told I'll get a chance to speak. I will do as I have always done, rise on behalf of my constituents in defense of my community and for democracy itself. 
Notice is hereby provided to the House of Representatives of the 68th Legislature that at 1 p.m. tomorrow, April 26, 2023, a motion to act with respect to the conduct of Representative Zephyr will be made. The motion will be made pursuant to the House of Representatives' authority under Article 5, Section 10, 1 of the Montana Constitution for the body to determine if the representative from House District 100's conduct on the floor on the House of, uh, on the House of April 24, 2023 violated the rules, collective rights, safety, dignity, integrity, or decorum of the House of Representatives, and if so, whether to impose disciplinary consequences for those actions. To maintain decorum, the galleries will be closed. So they're not allowing anybody in. The public will be able to observe on the website or from a committee room with a televised viewing. So they're not even allowing, they're not even allowing the constituents to view it. This is the plan that conservatives have for America. They want this to happen in every state in America. They want to force their will on everyone, regardless of democracy. They do not give a shit. They will dress it up in this fancy language, and at the end of the day, they are using the letter of the law to strip trans people of a voice, to strip trans people of their rights, and many, many more people than just trans people. We all know that trans people are just the hyperfixation, but this is gonna affect everyone. I want everybody to keep this shit in mind, okay? As we're going into this election, because it's coming soon. And I want people to have this in their mind, to seriously be thinking about how can I affect the politics of this country in a better direction? And the answer is not through endlessly nervously watching polls, it's not through endlessly nervously going back and forth around how good or bad Biden is. The Republicans are using real politique, okay? They are exercising political power. They are building uh, alliances of churches. They are putting together militias. They are even doing insurrections to get their will, okay? We need to take that seriously and think beyond the liberal. The liberals who have sat by and done nothing they got four years in which they could have changed the world, and they didn't. They just let us lose Roe v. Wade. Thank you for watching my show. If you enjoyed what I had to say, if you found it insightful and interesting, please, first of all, subscribe to my channel, press that subscribe button, and secondly, come join my Discord, discord.gg forward slash Demon Mama, okay? It's very easy, discord.gg forward slash Demon Mama. You can come join, we've got political spaces, we got room for debates, we got room for making friends. It's a fantastic place and we'd love to have you join us, okay? It's a perfect place to start to meet people who share your political values and start making some real connections. As many of you know, I believe that politics occurs through strong, mutual connections, through people building real social connections, not uh, not distancing, like offsetting everything onto institutions, not going, I hope my representative will help me with this, but from people coming together, taking care of one another, and standing up for their rights, to fight for liberation in a very real way. I believe in a, a, a material politics. And if that sounds like something that interests you, this is the place for you coming into this year. Tell your friends and get on in. Thank you very much.